buy plantain. Oh, baby boo! <laughs> sorry, 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 please, I don't mean how. How much is the plantain? Sorry, 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 <laughs> fine boy, Buchi, how are you? It's fine. Sorry, how much is your your plantain? Okay. This one is um, five hundred. This one is two fifty. This one five hundred. This one two fifty. Yes. Then this ones are four hundred. Okay. Um, I think this one of two fifty is okay, okay. for me. Okay. Hey, sorry, I didn't come out with nylon today. Okay. There's no problem. Since my house is just here, okay. it's okay. So, but next time we're trying to get nine loan for other customers. So, because it's not everybody that will agree to take it this way. I I'm know. taking it because you're my own person. Rose I Rose. Rose. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I love you so sorry, much. Yeah, your 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 butchie, your son. Thank you. Hey. Ma, I'm just your change. I'm just coming out. I've no Don't worry, use it to buy power for your son. Thank you so much. Stop sir. crying, baby. <laughs> baby Thank stop. you. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, okay. Thank you. Just take good care of yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, sorry. Mm. Let me help you. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Sorry. 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 Bye, plantain. This life. Oh, that is something bad. Bye, plantain! Bye, plantain! Jerry, good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I have fresh plantain for sale. I can see, but you know I like buying in bunch. Yes, I also have bunch in the house if you want them. Really? <laughs> yes. So how much is it? Uh, I have the one of one two and the one of one five. Sorry, and, sorry. Uh, hope the one of one five is big. It's very big, you like it. All right, no problem. Bring it in the house in the evening and split it the way I like. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Sorry. And when you come to the house, I will not give you the money. All right. All right. Do have a good day. All right. You too, sir. Okay. Bo, 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 bo. Bo, 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 bo. All right. A good day. Okay. Bye, planted. Bye, planted. Fire your mouth to fire that greeting. Who harvested the, the plantain in that piece of land? Which piece of land? I am asking you a question. We are, are, are retorting. Who harvested the plantain in that piece of land at Uno Umuenem? I did. Rose, you did. Rose, you did. So, despite all my warnings, you still had the nerves to enter that piece of land and harvest my plantain. Eh? Okay, now. You and your uncles have taken everything my husband left behind. The 
that piece of land is the only place I go to source for things I use in sustaining myself and my son. Why are you bent on taking it away from me? I'm here asking you questions. Eh? You're asking me questions. Rose. I'm talking about Jesus. Rose, no. Nene, that is my pot of soup now. Rose, stop now. Rose, I said to kneel down. Stop on my shop. Let me warn you. Let me warn you. Can't you damn corner a You're not walking in the wall of water. Okay, now I'm carrying my child. Okay, now I'm carrying my child. Let me warn you now. The very next time you will flout my orders, I will show you what fire does to the ears of a rat. Maduma, Mamwaga. You know what? You and this your. Okay, now stay away from my child. You and this your. Stay away from my child, okay, now. You and this your bastard child. I'm doing for you to okay, man. We see Kwataga. Can drop. Okay, now stay away from my son. Okay, now stay away from. Stay away from my son, okay, now. Stop begging me. What? 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 What is all this one? Give me one, give me one. And you give me your water. And you give me your water. Man, man, this, 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 this your bastard son. I don't mark him face. You see this your son? I don't mark him face. Nah, eh? Nah, eh? What is, what is all this? Nah, look at this one. Nah, eh? What is all this? So much trials and pains. Oh, yeah, can't get caracoa more. Many are the afflictions of the poor and the innocent. So much trials and pains. Oh, yeah, can't get caracoa more. I'm broken into pieces. Oh, yeah, can't get caracoa more. I'm broken into pieces. I enjoyed myself today. Hey, money is good. Money is very, very good. Hey! No get money, now I lose all. Asa. How was your day? My day was fantastic. Really? <laughs> yes. My day was fantastic. There was this classmate of mine. She just called me that she was celebrating her birthday party that I should come. Hey! Jerry! Where is your birthday party? Hey, go passa! Hey! Money is good, Jerry! Oh! Well, I, I know money is good. But you didn't tell me you'll be going for a birthday party from school. Hey, I didn't tell you. Hey, hey. It's so uh, I'm sorry. I forgot. You know, I didn't just want to disturb you now since you'll be at work. So, yeah? Yeah? Well, no problem. Just uh, get me dinner. I am very hungry. Let me freshen up. I did not cook. Ha! Oh! Ha! 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 Victoria, hmm? what do you mean you did not cook? I thought 
I just told you now that I went to a friend's birthday party? But that is not the reason you should go and spend all day outside forgetting there is no food in the house and I even gave you money when I was leaving to buy food. As your maid or what? Eh? As your maid or what? Jerry, you went to work. I went to school. One, one. If you are so hungry, why don't you go to Mama Keshi shop and buy noodles for yourself? Then you go inside and cook it. Yes! I am not your maid! I am not your maid! I have told you, go and look for a housemaid for yourself! Victoria, Rubbish. can you hear yourself? Can, can you hear yourself? Victoria, can you hear yourself? Good evening, sir. Good evening, Rose. How are you? I'm fine, Good evening, ma. Good evening. Sir, I grabbed the plantain. Oh, you've done well. You've done well. Um. Let me go in and get you your money. Okay. Respect me. Me, Victoria. I should come and cook for you. As your house self. As your house self in this house. Because I'm your wife, I will not turn to a maid. I'm gonna say I get fairer. Nonsense. Don't worry for a maid that will be happy to cook. What is that someone? I did not cook. This man is just trying me sometimes, as if I'm his husband or, or anything. He does not cook for you. I don't know. I'll come and start cooking for you. I will go to school and come back and continue to cook for you. I'm your husband. 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 I'm it's is, is 2,000 naira. The plantain is 1,5. You can keep the rest for your baby. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, ma. Hey! Oh, no, ma, see why? Oh, no, ma, see why? She should keep the 2,000 naira. E money! <laughs> It's not time that you're not sharing money in the whole village. E money! Hey! <laughs> e money! <laughs> nah, she should take the 2000 naira. Mm. <laughs> 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 Jerry, I won't. What's your problem? You want to know my problem? Jerry, my problem is you. You are my problem. I am tired of being a housewife in this house now. I am tired. Give me 150,000 naira. Let me go and start my own business. Yes, that is my problem. But as I am not complaining of you being a housewife because I know you are still in school. Fine, if you want to do business, that is fine. Hmm? Just wait. Once you graduate, I will help you establish any business of your choice. Hey! Jerry, you are very, very wicked. You are very selfish. You are staging. You are wicked. Eh? That is my problem with you. So you, because you have one small frustrating money, eh? You feel everybody should dance to your tune. I will not dance to your tune. Give me my money. Give me one hundred fifty thousand naira to start my own business. Else, we will not have peace in this house. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Victoria, you know the money is not my problem. You know the money is not my problem. I just don't want you to stress yourself. I don't want you to be distracted. Combining education and business will be a huge distraction for you. You will neither be good in your academics nor effective in business. Hey, hey! Hey! Look who! Somebody is drinking on a door for another person's headache! Eh? Is it your business? The distraction is my distraction, not your distraction now, eh? The academics is my own, not your own now, eh? Give me one of your fifty thousand naira, and you will not leave this house, oh! And you will not leave this house, oh! I'm telling you, oh! Fine, just calm down. Mm? Relax. Mm? Let me go to work. 
when I come back, we'll sit down and conclude this. Please. Mm. please. Once you go to work. Yes. Okay, once you come back. Okay, you come back. Yes. It's alright, no? I should work for you. Eh? So I should stay in the house as your housewife. Then you will go to go work and go and enjoy yourself. Come on, pass now. Come on, pass. Me will leave you. I will not leave you. Oh, you want me to unleash my madness on you? Aha! Go ask so. Go ask of you. I don't speak nonsense, so. Hmm. Come and go now. Come and go. Chori Pulo, two of us will sit down in this house. I am the housewife. You are the house husband. That is it. On sense. He gave me my own fifty thousand naira. Ta. He chori in. He chori Pulo. He put blue on me go. On sense. Come no kwa rubbish. No kwa rubbish. Be no poor. Come on, Basi. You will be a house husband today. Housewife, house husband. That is your portion today. On sense. I'm not going to have a guy. I'm not going to have a guy. It's a tutorial now. If you have a tutorial now, I'm not going to have a guy. What is all this? I'm not going to have a guy. I'm not going to have a guy. Okay, now good morning. What are you doing here? Okay, now. Please, I need to talk to you. Okay, now whatever it is I might have done against you, please forgive me. And let me continue to farm in that piece of land. So I can feed myself and my son. If you want me to leave that piece of land for you and your son, you already know what to do. Um, of course, you know that nothing goes for nothing. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Of course, you are no longer a child. All I want is to eat from that tree at the center of your garden. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. But, okay now, you can't possibly be asking me for that. I am your late brother's wife and I am still in my mourning period. Of course, the fact that you are my late brother's wife is the more reason you should comply to my demands. And my demands are not hard. Papa tell him something, name something. Give me this thing, let us have peace in this house. What is all this? And I don't think I do. Eh? No, eh? Okay, now. Mm -hmm. I am sorry I can't do that. Eh? You, you cannot give me this. Even if I dare it mistakenly, I will never forgive myself, okay, now. Um. If that be the case, leave my presence immediately. You cannot please understand me, please. You cannot please. But I'm missing quarters in room What is all this? What is all this? I'm telling something in a in a in a in a bagali, and I don't think I do. What is all this nonsense? Nah, eh? Name something I'm in the same house with you. Give me this and let us have peace. You refuse. Now I'm going to drink it. Bonyala.
This is a check for a hundred and fifty thousand. You can use it to start any business of your choice. It's not about check. Nonsense. You think you are stubborn? Ah! Nonsense. You go and dress up and go to a bank. Mm -hmm. Your daughter. Victoria, my daughter. Yes. What is the problem? I have tried as much as I could to to keep this to myself. Like I've done virtually everything within my power to tolerate and uh, overlook her excesses but she's getting wider by the day she cooks when she wants to she does the laundry when she wants to i am the one doing virtually all the domestic chores all she does is go to school and come back home whenever she wants. Hey! And anytime I complain, she rains heap of insults and abuses on me. What? <sighs> Mama. She keeps making demand of money without proper explanation of what the money is used for. And once I refuse to comply, she will begin to deny me sex yeah. and food. Yeah. Mama, since we got married, I can count how many times we've stayed together as man and wife. Now she, she, she said she wants to start a business, that she no longer wants to depend on me for anything. 
I tried talking to her that setting up a business would be a huge distraction for her, considering the fact that she's still a student. <laughs> As usual, she refused. To the extent that she said I am not leaving the house this morning till I provide the money. Yay! For peace to reign, I had to give her the money. Mama. Yeah. I am sorry, but Victoria is turning into something else. And I think you need to talk to her. Of course, you know that I am not a talking type. That if this is a a situation I can handle, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have come here telling you what's happening. Please, talk to her. Hey! So, Jerry, you mean that all this has been happening for the past two years? And whenever I ask you about my daughter, you will say that all is well. You will speak good of her. Oh, Mama, she's my wife, and it is my responsibility to give her covering in her areas of weakness. It's just that this this one is beyond beyond me. My son, it's okay. I will talk to her. I will talk to Victoria, my daughter, as a mother. Thank okay? you, Mama. I, I will appreciate that. It's okay. You're welcome, my son. All will be fine. Oh, Amen. All will be fine. Amen. And Mama, hope you are, hope you are strong. I'm good. I'm very, very good. All right, let me hurry to work. I will see you later. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Please uh, take care of yourself, bro. Like I said, I will talk to her. Ask me what hmm? Okay, let me hurry. Hey! Hey! Victoria! Victoria! Hey. So, all this has been happening in the marriage and I didn't know of it. I, what is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with her? Husband. He was proving stubborn. 
But trust me now, I had to bring the worry in me, the madness in me, and immediately I brought it out. <laughs> he had no choice that to give me the money. Really? <laughs> yes, sir. So he gave you the money? Before Uncle. Oh. He won't give me. Me, Victoria, he won't give me the money. He gave me 150,000 naira. Wow. Check. I was even thinking of going to the bank before you came. <laughs> well, uh, well, I'm, I'm here now. You've done well. That's why I'm so proud of you. That's why I love you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You're going to forward the money to the account. Then, uh, in a week interval, we'll go to the stage two, which is telling him that the money was used to pay for a shop. There are more monies needed to stock the shop with goods. I'm not going to kill you, yes, my no. friend. Yes, no. <laughs> you are too wise, my love. Yeah. Ah, that's right, though. Mm. Um, well, see, that's not my problem now. Okay. My problem is for you to come inside and give me a rough ride to Jerusalem. Mm. Like, when I mean a very rough ride. Is that what you want? Mm -hmm. Why don't I start here? <laughs> <laughs> You may Okina pour the way your pot of soup. What? Did you only pour my pot of soup? Okina slapped me on top of it. Postling, Okina slapped you. This is serious. I, I went to him. I knelt down, begging him. I begged Okina to please leave that plot of land for me and my son so that I can get some things from it and sustain myself and my son. Okay, no, refused. What? He refused. Instead, Okay, I chose having a sexual affair with me to the well being of his late brother's son. Now, tell me. Is that not the height of wickedness? It is. It is, my dear. Look, sometimes men can do unimaginable things just to get between the legs of a woman. Rosely, I would advise you handle this situation with smartness. Else, not only will it throw you and your son out of the house, but you will face the harder face of life. Is not good. So, how do you mean? <laughs> Rosalie, I know it is difficult, but maybe, maybe you should just try and give it a chance. Just, no, don't, don't give me that look. You need to secure a place for yourself and your son. Look, if you are in possession of three lands your late husband left, trust me, you will not suffer financially. And nobody will threaten you or talk to you anyhow. Trust me, this is difficult. But it is a price that you may have to pay. Not for yourself, but for your son. As reasonable as your words may sound, I, Rosely, cannot. I cannot. 
I cannot stoop so low to sleep with any man just to secure a future for my son and to sustain myself. I know it will not be easy. I know it won't be easy. But this God, this God, this God of the just, comfort of the afflicted, and husband of the widow. I trust you. And I know he will see my son and I through. Before she goes out there and, uh, and blow a whistle. Hey, no. Do you know what? We're going. I will uh, take care of it. We're going. We're going. We're going. Okay. going. After the morning now, how, how is it going to be? I will send it to your account now. We're going. Uh, we're going. Uh, but, but, I, I miss you. I miss you too now. I, I miss you now. We're going now. Uh -huh. hey. Sanitizer, laughter, go more. Oh, God. Sanitizer, sanitizer, go more. Victoria. So you can go as far as committing adultery. What is it that you ever wanted in this life that Jerry did not give you? What is it? The most important thing every woman needs from a man. Which is? Love. Love, Mama. You knew that I do not love Jerry. Yet you forced me to marry him because he has money. He was busy giving you money and making you happy. Why me, Victoria? I was wallowing in emotional pain. Living with a man I feel nothing for. So do not blame me if I cheated on him with the man I love. Yes, you caused it for me. Victoria, I am your mother. 
Victoria, I forced you to marry him. Yes, I did. I did because I knew he will give you a better life. He will secure you a better future. A future that that thing, that boy you are messing around with cannot give you. I know you hate Ikem. That is why you do not see anything good in him. Victoria. I am your mother. I have seen so much in this life that you can ever see. I see not love in the eyes of that boy. The only thing I see is illusion and lust. It is not only that he is poor. He does not have the factors that will secure him a better future. But Jerry, Jerry has, Jerry has the factors that will secure you a better future. A future for you and your entire generation to come. Yes. Victoria, Money is not the only thing that is important in marriage. There are other factors that are very important. Stop messing around with that boy. Sit up and build your marriage. Stop hating Jerry. For a bed at hand, is better than thousands in the bush. Yes. I can see you and Jerry have been doing a lot of talking lately. Oh, that does not concern me. The fact still remains that I, Victoria, do not love Jerry. Nor will I treat him otherwise. Mama, I will not sell my emotions for money. Bye. V Victoria! Vic Victoria! family. Eh? Tell me. Victoria, you of all people should know that I am not the talking type. Hmm. You are turning into something else and I deemed it necessary that someone close to you should talk to you. As a baby? Eh? Oh, as a breastfeeding child. Tata! I will mama, mama. Hey, hey, hey. So they should come and talk to me as a baby that they are breastfeeding. What did they do to you, Jerry? You have not told me why you keep castigating my name. Gossiping about a poor, innocent girl like me. Eh? What did they do to you, Jerry? If you are tired of this marriage, Jerry, let us dissolve this marriage. Yes! Let's dissolve this marriage. You and I know that we are no longer happy in this marriage. I am not happy. And I know that you too, you are not happy. Yes, now, stop pretending. Eh? See, let me tell you, Jerry. If you don't do the needful, if you don't stop gossiping and castigating this poor girl's name, eh, all over the town, bet me, Kuchara, I will be forced to do something unimaginable to you. Trust me. Yes, I will be forced to do something unimaginable to you. Trust me, Kuchara, no problem. But listen, I'm telling you, stop castigating me. Stop gossiping about me. Yes, stop gossiping about a good girl. Because me, I know that I'm a good girl. Stop gossiping about me. 
Mann, wie ich mach das? Okay, now good morning. Hold your greeting. Listen, I came here specifically to inform you that I have sold that piece of land at Ulumu and them where you harvested the plantain the other time. That is not all. That is not all. That is not all. That's not all. I've equally sold this piece of land here, including this house. This very building, I've sold it. Of course, you already know where I walk in the park. I can sleep anywhere I want. I can, I can, I can enter any, 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 any car, any vehicle, any bus, and sleep. for you. Pack your things and leave this very premises. You have just three days to do that before the rightful owner ponder you and that bastard you call our son and throw you out of this place. Okay now. Hmm? So you want to push me and your nephew out of this house because I refuse to sleep with you? Okay, now you could not even consider your brother's only son. All that matters to you is what is between my legs. Why are you this mean to me? Okay, now did I wrong you in any way? Three days. Three days. That's all you have left in this house. <laughs> Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Is that, is that? How is our baby boy? Yeah, he's fine. He's sleeping. Uh, okay. Mm. Uh. Um, Izuna, I'm actually on my way to your house. My house? Yes. <laughs> I hope all is well. Uh, all is not very well. Uh. <clears throat> I should wait here. Yeah, wait. 
Isenna. Hmm? Okena sold the only piece of land my husband left for me. Likewise, the house we live in. Hmm. And he gave me three days to leave the house with my son. Hmm. Isunna, I. I know you're my husband's best friend. And you're also close to Okenna. Izuna, please help me talk to him now. He should not throw me and my son out of the house. You know, my stepmother was not in support of my marriage to Onyebuchi, your friend. So, if, if Okina throws us out of the house, we don't have anywhere to go to. Mm. Please, just, just have me talk to Okina. I know, I know he will listen to you. Please. What is Okenna's problem, Save? Eh? This guy is safe. Eh? What is this? What, okay, what is the problem? Tell me. Um, Okenna wants to assume my husband's position. And Izu, you know that is not proper. And it's not even possible. I mean, please, just, just help me talk to him, please. Rose, yes. come to think of it, what makes it improper and impossible? Eh, your husband is no more alive and no rules holds you from using what you have to get what you want. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, there is no issue here. Eh? You... You are the one that is being unnecessarily stingy and creating problems for yourself. Comply with Okenna and save yourself from all this uh, <laughs> crying and complaining. Eh? You understand? Just comply with him. My parents won't get up and yet. Simple something. Open the entire commode, you close, pam, everything I got. Eh? But if you keep on eh, closing, 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 eh, when you call it, open, open small. I'm going to try my pair like this. My pair through your bed. Open your hand and okay. You have your way. Then you enjoy yourself. Feel free. Do whatever you want to do in this community. Nobody will disturb you. You understand? And uh, <laughs> if you derive joy from crying and the complaining, <laughs> then keep on being stingy. Thank you. <laughs> Eh, eh, my parents, my parents won't, won't keep them covered. Nah, I, I know. 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 dead knows how soon they are forgotten even by their loved ones the living will not trust anyone and what do you mean by that i overheard your discussion with your late friend's wife and your reply marveled me a lot and i've been asking myself how much i can trust you as a friend um, Emeka, her husband happened to be my friend, my best friend at that. But he's no more alive, he's dead. 
and the living has to move on. It would have been considered betrayal if the husband is still alive. But he's not. So I don't see the reason this woman should be stingy with her body. Yes. Uh, and you know, I'm not like you <laughs> who always pretend. I love saying my own out. Let me tell you, brother, I want to have a test of it. <laughs> Are you serious? Is it now? Did you just say this? You're just so unbelievable. You're not even ashamed of yourself saying this to a woman whose late husband happened to be your best friend. One need a very wicked. <laughs> I can say lay. And you my care. And you re. Moses of our time. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, I don't care. The dead are gone and forgotten. So, let the living enjoy what they left behind. <laughs> I just wish the dead can hear and see. If wishes, we are horses. <laughs> Hey. Isunna. Hi. Isunna. This is true that uh, this is pure she is minus one of what we get. Isunna. Rose. Rose, how many times did I call you? Are you waiting till you're sent out of the house before you will do what you should do? Eh? You know your position with your stepmother. If they send you out of this house, going home is not an option. Of course you know you can't come to my house. You know how it is for me. Rose, please. I'm only advising you as a friend. Just, I know it's difficult though. Just try and just Try and just give Okina whatever he wants and save yourself the trouble and the embarrassment. I'm even tired of all these things. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm only talking to you as a friend, though. But the decision is yours to make. Please. I'm tired. Well, I. I think it's high time I talk to my uncles, the elders, and maybe the king. Because I don't know what to no, do. No, 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 please, wait. Did I hear you well? Was are you planning to drag Okena and his group of friends to the king and elders in council? It's like you don't love your life. Eh? Those men can be diabolic, you know. They can just kill you and your baby, please. Don't even dare it. Don't. Don't. Ike, my husband died on time. I single-handedly suffered to raise my children. Jerry came into our life. He came into my family and turned our lives around. He gave us a better life. I know you don't love my daughter. But what I do not understand is why you are following my daughter around like a fly. I tried as a mother to raise my daughter in a better way. What I wouldn't want you to do is to come and jeopardize it for me. Because if you do, I will do the unthinkable 
Yes. My daughter is married. Allow her to enjoy her marriage. <laughs> As for the abomination both of you committed, you will live to face the consequences. Yes. Stay away from my daughter. I repeat, stay away from my daughter. Jesus. Asa, um, as a friend of mine told me about the hospital in Asaba, he said it's a very big hospital and if we go for lab tests in that hospital, they will surely find out the reason we've been unable to have children. So I think we should go there for a lab test this weekend. Jerry, we've been to two different hospitals on this same issue. And they all certified us fit to have children. So why are you dragging me to another hospital again for a test? Why? Asa, the fact that these doctors said we are fit to have children mm -hmm. until date, you've not conceived. Is that not enough to tell you that we need to seek options, like we need to look for alternatives? It's possible, it's, it's, it's possible uh, uh, what they said is not really correct. Get behind me, Satan. I rebuke you. I am fit to carry my own children. Eh? Yes, the those doctors have told me that I am fit to give birth. So I am believing their reports. I will not believe your report. I refuse. I will give birth in my own time. What happens to God's time? Eh? You've forgotten yourself. God's time is the best. And I will wait for God's time. Yes. I, Victoria, will wait for God's time. If you like, you, you wait for God's time. If you like, you don't wait. It's, that's your own problem. I am not following you to any rubbish hospital. Drag only yourself and be going to the hospital. May I am fit to have children. That is what I know because I know that I am fit to have children. I believe in my Lord because I know when it is time for me to give birth. I will give birth. I cancel every part of the evil ones that are using you to, to, to come to my life. Holy God, fire. I destroy you. Receive fire. I believe in the heart of God because God said I will give birth when the time is due. I will give birth. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. In the right sense. 
I am not supposed to be interfering in this issue. But you see, the situation of the woman involved touched my heart. And I could not keep quiet. You see, the woman involved is not just a poor widow, but your late brother's wife, who has a child. And I will advise you find a way to resolve this issue with her peacefully. You throwing her out with that little child will be an act of wickedness on your own part. Emeka. Odogun. Chukwu Emeka. Okay now. How many times did I call you? <laughs> Two times. Get out of my house. Okay, Nina Pudala. I will lie again. I am here telling you so. Okay, now. If you do not leave my house this moment, I will do something. You and I will live to regret. Ah. You see, Amaka? You see, Amaka? I don't mark your face. Amaka, I, I don't mark your face. I don't mark your face. Now look at this small boy, yo. Look at, look at, look at this one boy. Okay, now. As for you, Rose, it has gotten to the point where you will now go around the village, dragging my name to the mud, castigating me. Okay, now. You go about the village castigating me. How am I even sure that this rascal, America, is not the one sleeping with my brother's wife? How am I sure? How am I sure you are not the reason my brother's wife has refused to cooperate with me? You! You! You, America! I don't mark your face! I don't, I don't mark your face! You see you? I don't mark your face! Rose, that thing you've been depriving me of in this house, if you don't give it to me today, if you don't give it to me today, you leave this house. Nah, eh? Nah, eh? Nah, eh? You see you? You see you are not going to hear my voice. I don't mark your face. Nah, eh? Nah, eh? Nah, there, Rose. And wicked woman. Look at you. Look at something. Something. Ni, ni, food everywhere. The food that you are supposed to be giving to me. You decided to be giving it to outsiders. Especially to that useless idiot. That imp. America. You carry all these things. All these things. All these things. You carry them and you give it to America. Eh? To the point that America now had the guts, the tenacity, and the affront to come into my own house to beg on your behalf. I want you to pack your belongings now and go and live with America. And you have only five minutes to leave this company. Else! Okay, now you're chasing me out of this place. Where will I go? Sip on one now. Sip on one now. Nah, eh? Sip on one now. Okay, now, please. Sip on one now. Sip on one now. Sip on one now. Okay, now, please. Okay, now. 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 Okay, now, please now. Okay, now, I know. Where, where do you want me to go with Will you move team? or not? Will you move or will you not move? Okay, now, please. I'm begging you. Well, tell him here. Tell him here now. Okay, now, please. 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 Look at, look, 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 look. See my boy, son. Look at, look at, look at, carry a bastard, son, into my house, and you're telling me, come and see my boy, son. Pull up. Nah, I'll stop you now. Okay, now, okay, I don't have any way to go to. Okay, now, please. Okay, okay now, please. 
<laughs> okay, now please. Now when you want me and myself to go. Move. Okay, now please. Okay, now please. Okay, now when you want me to go. Okay, now please. Okay, now please. Okay, now please. Okay, now when do you want me to go with my son? Okay, now please. Okay, now. Okay, now please. Okay, now please. What's so, uh, uh, all this one now? What is all this one? I look at this thing now. How am I being sure that that first time you're carrying this, my brother's son? How am I sure? Huh? The man with the wheelchair, who is that bad guy in this house? The man with the wheelchair, you know what I mean? The man with the wheelchair, I know I don't care about family. You get better be a beautiful child and you stay on this level. What do you want to hear? No, eh? No, eh? No, I can't fuck with this house again. Nobody figure, if you believe you, you will not have the money, if you have the money, you will not 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 have the So much trials and pains. Oh, yeah, kanga kara kuku amu. Many are the afflictions of the born the innocent. So much trials and pains. Oh, yeah, kanga kara kuku amu. I'm broken into pieces. Oh, yeah, kanga kara kuku amu. I'm broken into pieces. Nice to have you here. Uh, thank you. You once told me you needed a maid, right? Yes. You got one? Not really. Well, uh, I am not in a haste about it because I decided to take my time to find someone my wife and I would be comfortable with. Okay. <laughs> Jerry, I think I have someone that can do this job. Trust me, she's cool-headed, respectful, and very hardworking. She will like her. Really? Yes. Then I would like to see her. And then you'll see her this evening, if you wow. don't mind. <laughs> That's cool. Um, okay. But she's a, she's a widow with a child. What? Trust me, Jerry. She having a, a child will not be a distraction. She's a very hardworking person. You like her. Her child does not even disturb. Agatha, I am not comfortable with this 
lady with a child. I am not. Jerry, just trust me. She's not like every other person that you see. She's even very hardworking, more than, more than all these single girls you see about. She's a very young girl and not a mama. Trust me. Very, very, very hardworking. Okay? Just give it a try. You won't regret it. Okay? The lady with the child. You would like her. I will be with you shortly. Okay. Thank you. I'm waiting. Hey. This girl, I'm really ready. Really, really. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to do the same thing. Asa. Huh? Um. Agatha is recommending someone for us as a maid. Oh, okay. That's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Well, um, the person is a widow. A widow? I don't have a problem with uh, with becoming my maid. I don't have a problem with that. Well, being a widow is not my major concern. The lady in question has a child. Yeah. <laughs> and so, hey, <laughs> oh, see, I have told you, I don't have a problem with her. I don't have a problem with her child. None of them is my business now. Eh? Jerry, stop disturbing me. None of them is my business. My main business is that she should do her work very well. I don't need anybody to come and start lazing about me all in the name of taking care of a baby in the house. I won't tolerate that. Yes, I will sack her with immediate effect. Tell Agatha that I said so. Oh, so she should just face her work when she comes to this house. That's my own problem. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with them. I don't. I'm not a Why are you not replying to the force? I'm not going to go. 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 Why is she doing like this? Choose. You should choose me. You choose now. You talk say 10,000 for all of us. I'm not going to go. I will not pay 10,000 for that or should be. That's what it means. It's not right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, um, Agatha. Yeah. I am giving this person this job based on your recommendation. Thank you, thank you. The father, she is a widow, I understand. But once I notice her child is beginning to distract her from work, I will have her relieved. Then secondly, you know she will be staying here because of the nature of her job. Yes, I do. So, when do you think it um, will be convenient for her to resume? Mm. I think I would like to see her first. Like, talk with her one on one. Probably this evening. Yeah, this evening will be fine. Her phone is bad, so I have to go home then. I'll call me her. It's okay. Thank you so much, Jerry. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're okay. welcome. Okay, so let me hurriedly go now so I can come with her. I think you're far enough. Yeah, okay. so I'll, I'll be back shortly again. Okay. Thank you. Wow. I got time. Yes. Always looking for me. Okay. Okay. Huh? So. 
all you did could not make her open for you. Nah, I heard the one year the How could she? How could she open one that your nonsense friend? That foolish idiot, Amaka, is the one backing her up. It's a lie. He came to my house now. Ngweko wire nya. Nya nzuz wire na ntio da nwe 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 nwe. Ni mentia. Amaka came to my house to tell me, "Eh, don't you know that Rose is your little brother's wife?" Eh, na eh why will you chase her out of the house? No, 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 and trust me, I know he will enter that trap. A very big trap at that. And once Emeka enters that trap, if Emeka very just enters that trap, I will deal with him in a way that he will never ever in his life interfere with anything that has to do with me. Especially when it has to do with women! Nah, eh? No wonder. No wonder. Emeka has been preaching me Genesis, Revelation, even Habakkuk. He did? Telling you. Telling me that uh, I'm not a good friend to my late, if, uh, late, late friend, Buchi. I shouldn't have done that. This and that is a widow. Uh, uh, uh. So Emeka has been chopping this woman front and back secretly. You see? Without even you see? allowing us where they street to go there. Eh? Even me. Hey! So this guy is a saboteur. We will show him the red color of sabotage. As for Rose, don't worry. She will come to you one day and beg you to come in between her legs and eat as much as you can. If Roti is where my pena, Utuako is where my pen that day. Sigin na batawa, 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 mewemia, mewemia. By Saye Savana, Saris, Okuelumia, by Rukus, Okuelumia, by Locomo, or if it's the enemy, or something, the end of something. But Come to think of it, this one you are standing as if, as if you are interested in my late brother's wife. Nah, if, I, if I see you there, I'm going to see you there. Just, I'm going to see you there. 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 Other. Yes, she. she. I buy plantain from her. Wow. Small world. That makes it easier then. I don't have to talk much. Since you know her already. Rose, you already have a business doing. I wonder why you want to pick up the job of a maid. Sir, it's a long story. Um. I'm just a video hustling to fend for her son and herself. Um, well, um, it's okay. It 
Um. Is that the maid? Yes, coincidentally, it happens to be someone we know. Oh, okay. Well, she looks calm and innocent. I think our employer, she's hired. Ah, thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you, Gajay. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. No, 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 you don't need to thank me. I'm um, Jerry. Hmm? Hmm? You should start immediately. <laughs> I have some work at the back here that needs to be fixed. Well, I don't think she is ready to. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes, I'm ready. She is ready now. She is ready. She just said she's ready. Please follow me. Thank you. Thank you. Your wife is really unbelievable. God. Oh, um, I know your friend, uh, she doesn't know she's going to resume work immediately. And obviously she did not come with her bags. Yeah. So I think you should help us get her back. I will, but not immediately. I need to cool off. I'm tired. Best you may walk, suppose chop. Ah. <laughs> All right, should I get you another bottle of water? Water? Every time water? You know they offer person something else. Cherry, I hear say this on a local government people, they handle like this. So. Better try and make a difference. Don't be like them. Give me something else. Let me cool off. You have money showing all over you. Ah. Water, water. Something else like what? You know, nah. I don't know. Chicken. Yeah? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't get it. Is this not something that is supposed to be done in merit? 
Why is the lecturer asking you to pay money? Jerry! Why are you acting as if you don't know how this system works? Why? All because of your stubbornness. See, if I carry this course over because you want to follow this due process of yours that is very, very useless to me, eh? I'm going to make sure that this house does not contain the both of us. Give me this money. Let me go and give it to this lecturer the way he demanded so that you'll be free from me. Because if I have carry over, eh? If I have carry over, me and you, this house will not contain us. Hmm. As at times, I don't understand you. You know I am in this system. Do you expect me to start playing along with people who are going against the law? Hey, Saint Jerry! Holy Papa Jerry! See, let me tell you. My academic success is very important to me, just as your morals and integrity is important to you. So please, let's just strike a balance. Yes! See. Give me the money I'm demanding. Let me go and sort my course. But if you refuse and meet Victoria, I finally have a carryover. Ah, hey, 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 Jerry, hey, this house will not contain the both of us. Oh. It will not contain the both of us. Better give me the money else. Hey, wait. Please let me go. Come back. Oh. Sir, breakfast is ready. Don't 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 bother. I will I will take breakfast when I come back. mother came here and threatened to do something crazy to me if I don't stay away from you. Really? What did she tell you? <sighs> she said a lot of things to me and I did not say anything to her because I mean this is not the first time she's saying or acting like that. Each other so much, and there is nothing of what anybody would do to separate us. You are right. No one can separate us. Well, I'm happy now because my husband Jerry now has a maid. <laughs> really? Yes. <sighs> you know he has always been disturbing me with the house chores. Victoria, clean the house. Victoria, have you cooked for me? Victoria, where is my food? Victoria, have you washed my clothes? But now he has a maid. I am free like a bird. And you're <laughs> free for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'm going to spend tonight with you. What are you saying? Have you forgotten that I'm a married woman? I need to report back to my husband's house. But he has a maid. Come on. And having a maid is not to the extent of me staying in your house. Okay. That's wrong. Okay, fine. So you stay till 10 p.m. How about that? 10 yes. p.m. is mm. late. No. 7 p.m. Okay. So I can explain where I'm going. No, we are outside. This, this is my outside. house. It's my house. And so. Okay, fine. Let me take you inside. No, we shouldn't go inside. Yes. Let's just receive fresh air. Oh. Okay. I missed you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, what would you like for lunch? White rice and stew. Thank you, sir. Not like it's my business, but I've noticed for the past um, few days you've been worried and disturbed and I don't know what the issue is, but I want to assure you that whatever it is, it's going to be fine soon. You've been very kind to me and I hate to see you sad. Thank you very much. I I appreciate your concern. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. I wonder why you don't like using the gas cooker in the kitchen. Rather, you prefer to cook outside with firewood. Hmm? This is not good for the baby. It's not. Sorry, sir, but I. It's, it's faster when I cook here. But for the baby, you don't have to bother. I'll be careful. How careful can you be with a baby when both of you are exposed to the smoke coming from the firewood? All right, um, let me help you with the baby while you concentrate on the cooking. Sir, so don't worry. He'll be fine. I insist. The smoke is not good for the baby. See, the baby is, the baby is, the baby is choking. Let me help you with the baby while you concentrate on the cooking. Thank you. Come. Yeah. Mm. See, sorry, 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 so sorry, so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Just concentrate on the cooking. Let me take care of him. Thank you. Sorry boy, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry boy, sorry, 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 sorry. 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 I love you. You love me, we are happy family. It a big bear hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say, I love you too? I love you, you love me, we are happy family. With a big bear hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say I love you too? I love you, you love me. We are happy family. With a big bear hug, a 
and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say I love you too? Won't you say I love you too? I love you. You love me. We are happy family with a big bear heart and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say I love you too? You should have called me to come clear the plates now. There is no need calling you. I know you're busy. Oh, but it's my job. You shouldn't bother yourself. Louis, there is no need to be too modest about this. The fact that you're working for me does not mean I cannot help myself with things I can. Okay. So don't bother. Okay. Um, let me... But you're still busy. Uh, let me just carry him so you can get some rest. Don't worry, Rose. Don't worry yourself again. Just continue with what you're doing. Thank you. Your son is cute. Obviously, he took after your husband. Yes. You must have missed him so much. No day passes without me thinking or remembering the memories we shared together. He didn't have much, but the little he had, he made sure I was happy. And with him, I felt what it meant to be in love. His death left me lost and broken. But with my son, Buchi, I found strength to forge ahead. What really happened to him? He, he went to Bayasa to see a friend who wanted him to manage a business for him. And that was the last I saw him.
the the friend came and told us he had a boat accident and he drowned what that's pathetic so sorry for the loss Thank you. Rose, honestly, you are a strong and unique woman. Because not every woman will still maintain her stand in the face of your immediate challenge. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I have you to thank because I don't know if I would have maintained my stand if you didn't help me when you did. It's nothing. <laughs> sir, thank you. Like, it's something. Honestly, it's something. No. Loving and kind men like you are in short supply. And I count every woman who has a kind of man in their life lucky. Very lucky. Yes. <coughs> A charm. Um, she's Rose. Uh, Rose, this is my mother, you know. Mama, she's Rose, my. Okay. Oh, cool. Is it? Where do you think you're coming from? Victoria, the fact that we have a maid is not the reason you should go out there 
and come back whenever you want, leaving the maid to carry out her responsibilities as a maid and yours as a wife. A maid is a maid. And a wife is a wife. Jerry. Jerry. What is your problem with me? Tell me, what do you have against me? You have a maid who does virtually everything for you. And you are still nagging. Why? Tell me, why? You know I am a student. And you know also that I am planning to open a business. All these things are taking my time. I have a lot of things to prepare. So, why are you nagging? Jerry, if you are tired of me, why don't you divorce me? Yes. Divorce me and have your peace. Yes. I will have my peace and you too will have your peace. So you can stop nagging. What is your problem? What is wrong with you? Hey, Victoria! Why are you busy gallivanting with that never do well Ikem? Leaving your husband in the hands of a maid. Hey! A beautiful girl! Are you insane? Have you lost it? Oh? Has that idiot hypnotized you? Huh? You say beautiful. Wait, Mama. Are you bothered about my relationship with Ikim? Or about what is happening between Jerry and the housemate? Both. Both of them! Mama, Mama. You know I cannot stop loving Ikim. You know. I married Jerry because of the material advantage. Yes. But being faithful to him, thereby depriving myself of love and happiness, I won't. As for what is going on between Jerry and the housemaid, I don't care. I did not ask you to marry Jerry because of material advantage. Yes, I did because I know that he is the only man that loves you and can take care of you. You might end up losing the moon while you are busy counting the stars. Yes, my daughter. Do not lose this real opportunity because of your carelessness and lust, which you mistake for love. Please. <laughs> Mama. Mama. I know you are saying all these things because Jerry is richer than he came. But don't worry. Don't worry. Very soon, he came will be very rich that you will have no other choice than to accept him the way you accepted Jerry. Victoria! 
Victoria, I am not done talking to you. Come back here. I said, come back here. What is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with... to go up and I slipped. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Don't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Ah. And what is going on here? Welcome. Um I she 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 slipped and Asa, I uh, hope your, your, your visit to your mother's place was fine. Mm. It was fine. Yes. Um, I, 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 I hope your mother is doing well. Uh huh. She's fine. Asa is not what you think. I don't understand. I. I, I mean the, the the way you you saw Rose and I behind the house is actually not what you think. I was just trying to help her like she... <laughs> ah, ah. Jerry, who told you that whatever you and the maid are doing is my concern? 
I do not care how you live your life. Trust me. Hey! Oh, please, oh, Jerry, I don't have that time. Yeah? I have a lot of things to think of. Asa, I know you. I know you, so don't try to act as if you are not angry over what you saw. Trust me, it's not what you think. I was just trying to... Jerry! However you choose to live your life, it is not and will never be my business. Have you not noticed that I do not care how you live your life? Have you not noticed it? Uh -uh. See you. Please, let me tell you, I have chosen to be happy and I want you to do that same. Do that for yourself, okay? This life, it's one life to live. Positive energy only, only. Okay. Okay, baby. Ah, ah. Baby, babe, what's up? Ah, is this not a Yamaka's husband? He bought a car. Ooh. Yamaka's husband bought a car. Let me just say congratulations so it will not be like I'm wishing her bad. Congratulations. Then you see this one, uh, they are already useless to me. Maybe you can just start wearing them when you finish one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. As I saw some drugs on the table. So you've been sick and you didn't bother to let me know? Am I a baby? Must you know everything about me? I am an adult, Jerry. It's alright, I... I have an official meeting to attend. I will be back in two hours. No problem, no. Don't come. Alright. The drug Soga Jerry was talking about. They are contraceptives. Why are you taking them? Because I don't want to bear him children. Why? Because I don't love him. I was practically forced into this marriage. Sit down, Rose. Rose. Ma? Have you ever loved someone so much but was denied the chance of being with that person? I lost the one that meant the world to me. So... I think I feel your pain. But... You shouldn't have married him. 
instead of treating him this way. I was forced into this marriage. My mother and Jerry forced me into this marriage. Jerry thought I would love him after getting married to me. But that did not happen. Instead, I keep hating him the more. I wish he could wake up one morning and divorce me. But no, he does not even want to do that. As long as he does not want to divorce me, Jerry will know no peace in this house. He will be so unhappy. Yes, because me, Victoria, I am not happy in this marriage. As for the contraceptives, I deliberately let that drug on the table for him to sit. So he will be pissed off. He'll be shot. Sure. Okay, just be sure. Victoria, honestly, you are so unbelievable. Really, many Victoria. So you had the plan to travel, and you didn't deem it wise to let me know till this very minute. Jen, my friend called me that she's very sick, that I should come and rescue her. I should come and take care of her. I have no other option than to pack my things and start going to Enugu. Really? So that your friend doesn't know you're a married woman. For Christ's sake, in case you've forgotten, I am your husband. Ha! And I need to consent to every of your movement out of this house. Husband, my foot! Jen, I said husband, my foot. Let me tell you, wait or without your consent, I am going to Enugu. You cannot stop me. I need to go and rescue somebody that wants to die. Ah, ah, ah. Please, no. Oh. I want to Wait, 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 you are going nowhere. Ah, ah, you are not going ah, anywhere. Ah, me, ah, you are not going anywhere. Try it now, watch and see. Victoria. Jerry, Jerry, see, Jerry, don't let me remember what I forgot, you know. Don't let me remember what I forgot. Victoria, you are not leaving this house. Try me now, I am leaving. You hey, are not hey, leaving this hey, house. Hey, Jerry, Jerry. Victoria, Victoria. Victoria. You, you want me to enjoy you now? I will enjoy you. You are not getting out of this compound. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Victoria. Victoria. Is it not that useless Jerry called my husband? He was trying to prove himself, trying to say, Hey, I'm your husband, I'm the man of the house, you have to have my consent before you travel. Don't mind him. I had to drag my bag and push him out of the Oh, well, it's okay. I'm happy you're here now, but is that why your face is like that? Come I, I, on. You, you don't understand. You don't know the kind of stress I passed through before I left the house now. Please, that's not the problem now. Please, just be fast. Let's go. The taxi is here. Oh, sure, sure. And, um, sorry. Did, did he give you the money? Eh? Did he give me or how much did he give me? 
Hey, give me the money now before Uncle. Oh. Trust you, trust you. Don't trust me. Ah, Jerry will not give me money. He, he, he wants me to pay him. Oh. Okay, your bag is big. Yeah, I'm ready. Come on, I'm here. I'm here. What? 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 Okay, Well, I got this for you. Yeah. What is this for? Celebration. What are you celebrating? You. Thank you. You're welcome. Say hey. Mm. Mm. Why are you Why? Yeah. Thank you. So please, it's a good of you. Thank you. Okay. okay, here you go. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Cool. The line. I was just like, as even that is supposed to play, not so. It's true. Big two. Madam, good afternoon. You are back. Uh uh, come back. I am still in a new You don't need to explain yourself now. Eh? I love what I saw. Jerry. Jerry, I never knew you could be this happy and free spirited. Ever since I got married to you, I have never seen you this happy. Eh? Tell me, Jerry. Why do you derive joy in depriving yourself of happiness? It is obvious that Rose here gives you so much happiness and love. Hey, 
It's better for you to seize this opportunity to be with her. See, let me tell you. I, Victoria, I do not love you. I don't love you, Jerry. Eh? Heaven and earth knows that I don't love you. Yes, my heart belongs to you. Eh? So it is better for you to take this chance now to be with this woman. Oh. Go and do something. You understand? So bring the two of you together. Let me tell you one thing. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. Because what you and I are doing in this marriage is endurance. The two of us are enduring this marriage. It is better for you to take this opportunity. I'm happy for you. Eh? So you can be this happy. Yay! Hey, hey. Jerry has found love. My brother, be fast to this life. There is no time. Ha. Do something quick. It's a very good thing. Yo. Do something. Seize the opportunity now. Opportunity comes once. Once. It comes once. So, hmm. That woman stood before Jerry and made those statements. As shocking as it sounds, she said it. God! I will wish men would get to learn from this and stop forcing themselves on women. Look, because money can only get you a woman's attention, but can never get you a woman's love and loyalty, which is important in marriage. Rose. Tell me, do you love Jerry? Agatha, when my husband died, I told myself there is no room for other men. I made up my mind to stay on my own, work hard and take care of my son and myself do the best I can but meeting Jerry has altered all those I think I love him because he has shown me so much love beyond measure then the both of you should give it a chance to grow Give it a chance. Yes. I have um, sat down and thought about everything and realized Victoria was right after all. It was wrong of me to think Victoria would grow to love me with time. Rose, I love you. I may not have the, the right words to explain how much I feel about you, but I am sure the event of the last few days must have made you realize how much I love you. Please, can we give it a chance? Um, Mama. Uh, Victoria and uh, I came for something very important. <sighs> Mama, the the truth is um. <laughs> 
these two years of our marriage has been two years of pain and terror. And uh, I won't blame you. I won't blame anybody for that. And I have decided to make right the things I made wrong in the past. Victoria and I have uh, decided to annul our marriage. What? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Mama, I am very sorry for the the pain and inconveniences this decision would cost you. But the truth is, this is the best for all of us so that we can have our peace of mind oh. back. Oh. We are still family, but I think Things are better this way. So please um, inform your kinsmen to tell me when I will come back and take the bright price I paid on her head. And um, we annul the marriage officially as tradition demands. <laughs> Mama, why are you shedding tears now? This is the best thing that has ever happened to me. You should be happy for me. Huh? Hey, Victoria. Jerry, ever since I got married to you, this is the best thing you have ever done. It has been long overdue. Huh? Don't worry. I am going to my uncle's place now to inform them about the new development. By tomorrow, you will get your bright price back. Hey, hey! Hmm, living in bondage ring. Oh yeah, near ye. Where I'm free like a bear! Woo! Hey! This is the happening. This is the happening. Hey! No, 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 no. This is the happening. He came! 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 He I don't understand. What's going on? Jerry has finally annoyed our marriage. <laughs> tinka, tinka, tinka. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, this is the best news I've heard in my entire life. So we're back together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, babe, I'm yes, so happy. I'm so happy. We are finally back together. Okay. So what will happen is that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my uncles to his house mm -hmm. to return his nonsense bright price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then everything will be set. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you standing? That's, right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's my right. best. <laughs> you know, that's my best. You're touching. Ah, uh, yes, I'm doing it now. Man. <laughs> so, <laughs> After the night, the sun will rise. After the dark. The lights will shine. Miri Runi, where's a tala? Where my My heart has found love again. After the night, the sun will rise. After the dark, the lights will shine. Miri Runi, where's a tala? Where I call, my heart has found love again. Oh, the light 
has come. Oh, 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 the light has come. Mere ruruni wezo tala, were mata. Finally, my heart has found love again. Oh, 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 oh the light has come. Well, I, I called you to tell you that it is finally over. Yes, I've annulled my marriage with Victoria officially. That's a relief. Yeah, a very big relief. So now I'm heading on to the next step. Which is the journey was so dark. Coming to see your people and pay a bright price. Uh, I'm still in my morning clothes. Oh. And when will that be over? In a month. <sighs> that sounds like a year. Like so many years. Whew. No problem. I will wait because you're worth the wait. I love you. Mm. I have to check my baby. <laughs> My heart has <laughs> so, baby, mm -hmm. now that the marriage has been annulled, it's time to pick up. I want to come and pay your bride price. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my love. Before that, too, babe, mm -hmm. you need to speak with your mom. So she, she wouldn't come that day and display another drama that I wouldn't like. She, um, don't worry. Don't bother yourself about my mother. She won't. It's okay. Then after that, I'll meet with your kinsmen. Okay. Talk with them. Okay. Then she do a date for the traditional marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that and, would be uh, nice. Oh, yeah. And you know, I can't wait to be with you, you know. <laughs> so, babe, hmm? as we've been planning, yeah. the way house we are targeting for the boutique business is now here. Really? Yes. Oh. And I, I also told the agent that we'll be needing two bedroom flat in Enugu as soon as possible too. Nice. Yeah. And um, for the car, Baby, do we still need a car? Because we are going to pay for the warehouse, then pay for the boutique, pay for the apartment, and also get goods, store in the warehouse, then put in your boutique. So we'll, by the time we do all these things, we will be left with little or no cash. So I don't think car is needed right now. Hmm? Yeah, you are right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, fantastic idea. Mm. So when are you paying for the warehouse? 
oh well i want to do that tomorrow baby i'll send the money to the agent for the house then i'll commit the electrician and the furniture man with the advance payments Ah, uh, babe, hmm? I'm famished. I need to eat. Do you cook anything? Do you, are you sure you need food? Or you need food? Babe, food first. <laughs> Please, sure? yes. Food first. Mm -hmm. Not food. Mm -mm, later. <laughs> so guess. Guess. Ah, baby, you know I'm not good at guessing, so tell me. Just guess what I cooked. <laughs> How will I know, baby? <laughs> I can't okay, guess. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I don't find you. Really? After the night, the sun will rise. After the dark, the light will shine. Mirror Rooney wears a tall where I walk all my heart has found love again. Oh, oh the light has come. Wow! <laughs> Damn! Okay. okay. Uh. <laughs> Let's have people back. Oh my god. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so let's make a toast. Okay. <laughs> so this is for you. Thank you. And this is for me. Yes. So let's um, make a toast to oneness, love, love and, and forever. forever. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. Mmm. 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 Babe, I need to eat first. <laughs> <laughs> Very Am nice. I supposed to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Babe, Am don't worry, don't okay. worry. Let me. Let's do some. Okay. Yeah. This is it. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'm the best cook in the world. <laughs> Then you have to taste this. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> mm. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My heart has found love again. I am sorry for the pains the decision I took might have cost you. I never meant any harm. I was just fighting for my peace of mind and happiness. Ne mama. Mama, please. Give me Funa wants to come and pay my bright price. Please accept him. I promise you, you will not regret it. You will be happy to welcome him as your son-in-law. You have taken your decision. I have no right to question it. But remember that all I did was for your own benefit. If anything goes wrong because of the decision that you have taken, you're on your own. Mama, nothing will go wrong. Don't talk like that. As a matter of fact, this is the beginning of a good life. Not just for me, but for our family. It's alright. It's alright. Ah. Ah. Hey, play debit alert at once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, switch off. Ah ah. Hey, his oh. mama is not going. Ah ah. Give him a minute. What is it? Hey, is anything in the matter? No, no, mama. Uh, mama, don't worry. I, I, uh, uh, I will, I, I will see you later, mama. I'm coming. Let me take some. Eh? Uh, are, are you sure? I'm sure, mama. The 
Victoria! Yeah. What is it? What could, what, what could it be? I hope there's no problem. Hello, my love. Hello, Victoria. <laughs> How are you doing? Your number has not been going through. Why? I was so worried, though. Eh? Okay. Um, baby, you withdrew all the money from the accounts. Why? Anyways, I called to say thank you for everything you have done for me. <laughs> yes, the money, the sex. Wow, it was yummy. <laughs> um, Ikem, Ikem, what are you talking about? Well, the truth is that I never loved you from the onset. It was all a game for the money. <laughs> yes. It was all a scam. <laughs> and you listen to me, Victoria. Don't bother looking for me. Because I've gone far from your reach and from the reach of anyone who knows me. Don't look for me. <laughs> Take care of yourself, baby. I love you. <laughs> Hello, it came. Hello? H Hello? <sighs> wow. said a word to anyone. Why did you collapse yesterday? Where is he coming from now? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? 
<laughs> Victoria, what is the problem? Whatever it is, I am your mother. I will look for solution to it. Mama, hey. my life is worthless. <laughs> it's not worth living. It's better for death to come and take me away. God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> How can you say such a thing with your mouth, Victoria? How can you? You don't do that. <laughs> Nothing is worth taking your life. Nothing. <laughs> Mama, what is the problem? Mama, you were right. You give me fun and never loved me. How do you mean? How? He dutes me. All the money I saved from Jerry. He took them and ran away. I don't understand. I don't. Eh? I trusted he came with everything. To the extent I gave him access to all the money I have. All the money I gathered from Jerry. 1.6 million. 1.6 million Naira? How did you get that kind of money? <laughs> Victoria, what is it? <laughs> Victoria, <laughs> what is why you and Jerry thought I was in the university? <laughs> I was not in the university, oh! I was busy, stupid <laughs> Jerry. I was busy collecting money from him. So, and I, I was gathering the money so I could use it to elope with TK <laughs> So we can start a new life. Sorry, 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 sorry. Victoria, you mean all this while you have not been in school? No. Tell me you are joking. Tell me this that this is a joke. Mama, it's not a joke. It's true. It's true. It is not a joke. <laughs> Do not get out. Get out. Get out this minute before I do something stupid. <laughs> it was before you woke up in heaven, Mama. Victoria, I said get out. <laughs> Victoria, get out right Mama. now before I do. Mama, Mama Biko. Mama, it was the work of the devil plus Victoria. love. Mama, love and devil. Love and devil. Mama, love and devil. Mama, love and devil. Mama, love and devil. Mama, love and devil. Good morning, sunshine. How was your night? It was fine. Sir, so what would you like to have for breakfast? Well, there is no need for that. Why? 
I am taking you and the baby for a special weekend treat. Mm. Wow. Um, and you are just telling me? Surprise, surprise, surprise. Mm. So go get the baby so that I can take you guys out. You know, you know, it's not all the time I used to like jokes. There are, and there are things you don't joke with. If this is a joke, stop it now. I don't, I don't like this kind of joke. What is all this? Okay, now. Eh? If not that you are my friend, eh? In fact, if not that you are my senior colleague, now, eh? Can I see now? It's your drug, man. Wait, do I look like a comedian? How can I walk in the mayor park? How do you think I can I can joke about this? I'm telling you what is happening. Jerry, the one that works at government house from Obulu village, is the one harboring her. Yeah? <laughs> Jerry is the one harboring her. He has even sent his first five packing. All because he wants to marry. No, no, but no, I no, 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 bullshit. No, eh? No, eh? No, eh? So that idiot, that idiot who calls himself Jerry, wants to marry my late brother's wife, a widow who is still a mourning. It's an Indian around the government as you know when Come to think of it, so Rosalind is this loose. I cannot quit my pregnant. Eh? My brother just died. And his dead body is still fresh in the grave. And his wife wants to leave the family to marry another man. Without even waiting for my late brother's spirit to get to the land of the dead. Eh? This is a very big slap. A very big ridicule on the customs and traditions of our land. And it's a total embarrassment to our family. And I will not allow that happen. No! I will not let it happen. No, eh? mm. no, 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 bam, 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 bam. Why, 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 why will I allow that to happen? Why in you go to Kenan? Why is it Kenan Park? Kenan, how are you? Why is it Kenan Park? Why is it Kenan Park? Why is it Kenan Park? Kenan, so tell me, what are you up to? Can you tell me what I'm here? Why are you going to like this? Ha! Up, up. I am going to do something that if care is not taken might take Jerry's life. Take whose life? Will you shut up your mouth, you silly village champion? Wait a minute. You had the guts to walk in here to threaten me after such an act of wickedness and stupidity over your late brother's wife. Have you got no shame? Thank goodness you know, you still realize 
that she is my late brother's wife. Now I will advise you in your best interest to allow her come back to our family to mourn my late brother. Hmm. Failure to do so, I will so dearly deal with you for committing such a heinous sacrilege like sleeping with a mourning woman. You know, I just realized that you're not only stupid, but mad. You want her to come back to the house so that you will continue molesting her. Oh, so sorry. If you don't leave this compound now, I will lock you up and make you pay. I will make you regret ever stepping your foot into this compound. You see you? You see you? I don't mark your face. I don't mark your face! You see this nonsense bow legs? I don't mark your bow legs. I don't mark your bow legs. And I will cripple you in this village. You see this village? I will cripple you in this village, Maba. I don't mark your face. Nah, yeah. I just wonder the kind of things people give birth to nowadays in the name of children. Unfortunate. Okay, you look at this like this now. How did it go? One day, one more come on. Nah, eh. Nah, eh. Do you know that that fool? That fool walked me out of his compound. Okay, nah. He walked me out of his compound and said I cannot do anything. That me, okay, nah. Okay, no more Colombia. That I cannot do anything. Wait, wait, wait. You mean Jerry walked you out of his house and say you cannot do anything? Hey! Okay, now Jerry must go on, must go on. So, because of the little money he gets from the local government, he now thinks he can put his hand in the lion's mouth and go scot free. Hey! Do, do you know that is not even all? That's not all! That girl with his nonsense bull legs called me, okay? Nah, he called me a village champion. Mommy! He called me, okay? Nah, okay? Nah, now what that? That's who will in a park. One village champion. Let me tell you, eh? Let me tell you. I, I, I don't think that young man knows the kind of problem he's bringing upon himself in this village. No, I don't think he knows. Eh? I will play a music that he will not be able to dance to in this community for him. What is all this one now? Eh? Uh, uh, do, do you know that? As I was even saying, if you make noise, I will lock you up. I will lock you up. That you will lock me, you're getting that up. You see that boy? With that nonsense bow legs, you see that boy? I don't make him face. I don't make him face. You see, you see that he's useless bow legs, eh? I don't make him bow legs. I don't, I don't make him bow legs. You see that boy, eh? Ha. Huh. Um, as for my late brother's wife, Rosaline, eh, she must appear before the Council of Elders 
and explain to them if she's not the one who killed my brother. Because it's now quite obvious that she killed my brother so that she will be going around sleeping with young young men in this village. If you get no, eh? Okay, No, you just open my eyes. It's true. Ago. So uh, let me tell you. You don't have to worry. You don't have anything to bother at all. I'm your friend. See, whatever you want to do, I'm solidly behind you. Okay, now. I'm going to give you the name. What's your name? Goros. After killing my best friend, do you come? Hey! Na 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 na. Okay, this thing that Rose is carrying outside to give to them outside that she's sharing that she's not giving to me. It's true that I am short, but am I not handsome small? Why would she give me my own share? Did you know cool like this? You know, did you know Susan had handsome small and then had short? Okay, so now you come back and more. Nah, I'm hope for everyone. Oh, you're not cool, I'm not fool. You're not cool, you go. Hey, hello. Ah, the other one, Joloko. My daughter, <laughs> it is a pity that everything turned out this way. <laughs> I cannot throw you out because you are my only daughter. <laughs> Despite the fact that I am in pain, <laughs> my daughter's interest, who I have at heart for everything I do. It could not listen. Oh, please, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I thought Kim loved me. I never knew 
<laughs> he was lying to me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, please. What an old woman says. Sitting down. Even if a child climbs the Iroko tree, he cannot see it. The water poured away and the calabash got broken. You have lost everything. Everything you have lost, my daughter. You have to pick the pieces of your life, Johnny, and start all over again. Yes. Yes. It's okay. Let's go in. talking about Madam of my you can listen now. What I hit in that air, pick twice. So, come on, 
Pikachu again, I saw. Did I make a toy? So, <laughs> hold on, hold on, Pikachu again. Nah, eh. okay, okay, now, nah, now, eh. did I make it? I'll take a look at now. I'm running back and you go out. Continue our last card. Come back, you've been out. Got your bottle, yak. You guys are working now. Okay, now. Okay, it's me, your brother. It's me, your brother. No, eh? No, eh? What am I seeing? No, eh? Okay. Eh? It's like the spirit of your late brother is here to punish both of us. <laughs> to punish you. No, nah, eh? What am I seeing? Okay, why, why is everybody why running when they see me? Okay, now nah, it's me, Buchi. It's me, your brother. Yeah. Guy. Nah, eh? Nah, eh? Okay. Eh? I told you. Okay, now nah, go for it. Eh? Calm down, calm down. Are you not a man again? I'm a man. Are you a woman? Mm -mm. I want you to hit your chest. Yeah? Hit your chest. Say I'm a man. I'm a man. Hey. Nah, eh? Nah. Uh, listen, listen, eh? Mm. We are not cowards. Even if that is a ghost or a manipulation, we must find out. Eh? Uh, yes. Me, yeah. if I move, you follow me. Ah. Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. Be nice, me. It's me, flesh and blood. Hey, hey, uh, listen, Butchi. Butchi, listen. Um, I, I, I fulfilled all the necessary funeral rites before your burial. <laughs> you have no business here. The living and the dead have nothing in common. You have to go back to the land of the dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Eh? I was I, I was arrested and thrown into the prison. Didn't Chike tell you guys? Eh? I, I, I must confirm. I want to confirm. Eh? Eh? Nah, nah, eh? Okay. Nah, eh? Okay. Okay. Nah, eh? Nah, eh? Be a man. Okay, I'm a man. Be a man. Hit your chest. Hit your chest. Say I'm a man. I'm a man. Hit it again. Say I'm a man. I'm a man. Okay, na. Na eh. Okay, na biya. Kabuli po, okay, na guy. Okay, na biya. Okay, na biko. You're not dead. I'm not dead. Na eh. Na eh. It's me, your brother. Buti? It's me, flesh and blood. Oh yeah, Buti? You mean you are not dead? I'm not dead. I'm alive. Chike told me he needed me in the city for a business. When I got to the city, it was a bunkery business. I wanted to back off. But when I had the huge amount of money involved, I decided to give it a trial. At the site, the police came and apprehended me and I was thrown into the prison for months. Thank God for the Reverend Father that came and paid for my release. We all thought you were dead. Take a light to us, but you're drowned in the river. What? 
and your dead body was never found. How could Chiki do such a thing? To cover up for his atrocities, of course. To cover up for all his evil deeds. Thank God you are home. Safe. And sound. How is my wife? That one. The moment that thing you call the wife heard that you were dead, she packed all her belongings and followed another man without waiting for your burial even. What? As a matter of fact, last I heard, she's pregnant for the man and are planning of getting married. What? How could she do such a thing? A drum and drone. Gucci, you think your brother is lying? No, tell me. Why would he lie over such a thing? Your wife has turned herself into a village prostitute. Almost all the men in this village have slept with her. <laughs> if not that uh, <laughs> I'm a man of dignity, she would have succeeded the day she came to my house throwing herself at me. But I turned her down <laughs> because you are my friend and she's your wife. Pucci, you don't need such a woman in your life. Let me advise you. Now you are in this village and you are very sound. Just relax. I and Okenna, this boy, will find a good, young, and beautiful woman. For you. A very decent one at that. <laughs> a very vicious woman. One you got about that on your girl, not that thing. Who has turned herself into a kezaya. <laughs> she has practically sheared her body to all the young men in this village. On a kia koji. On your joy jello kenyan kia kezaya. O kenya go chirun kia. Kenya danun kia. And that even 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 all the small small boys in secondary schools in this village have all slept with your wife. Forget about her. Nah, eh? Nah, eh? Who hasn't slept with your wife? Everybody has. Everybody needs to. I am meant to understand that Rose stays here. Uh, yes, she stays here, but who are you to her? I am her, her cousin. Yes, I, I, I have not seen her ever since the death of her husband. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Um, please, please.
Rose. 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 This seemed like a dream. So you were alive after all, and Chike could not tell us the truth. The most painful thing about betrayal is when it comes from loved ones and trusted friends. Chike did not only put me into this, but framed my death to cover up his evil deeds. Probably believing that I would die in jail. How is my son? Um, he's fine. I put him to sleep before you came. When are you coming home? What does he mean by, when are you coming home? Rose. 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 Are you planning to leave me? confused stage of my life. But the truth remains that he which is not only the father of my child, he is also my husband. You still love him, don't you? I never stopped.
I heard the most unimaginable story of my life today. Mama, what did you hear? Hey, hey. Rosalind, the widow that your ex-husband wants to marry, the assumed dead man is back. Huh? Mama, hmm? you are not serious. Huh? You are not serious. I am. I was in doubt when I heard it initially. But when I got the information from a reliable source, I believed it. Mama, this is unbelievable. What happened? <laughs> My daughter, they said that his friend took him to the city for illegal business. He got arrested by the police. The friend came home and told everybody that he got drowned and his body was nowhere to be found. Can you imagine how wicked, how wicked people could be? But I am happy he's back. Hi! Hey! Wonders they say shall never end. Hi! See you My brother, now that you are back, it's very necessary that we summon the elders to come and uh, undo all the burial rites that we have performed the time we buried you. Um, we do that so we separate you, the living, from the dead. Uh, because most times when all these rituals are not undone, the person might actually end up dying real life. You are right. I have thought of that. So what are the necessary plans? Uh, nah, eh, nah, eh. You don't have to worry yourself about all that. Yes. All you have to do is to make yourself available. I will summon the elders and do the needful. You understand? Um, I, you know, it's already time for me to head to the park and do the evening this thing because if I don't go to the park, I'm going to go all these young, young aboros under me. Mm. What are you doing here? You husband killer. What are you doing here? No, 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 no. What are you doing here? Okay, you husband. Down. Yeah? I said calm down. No, nah, eh? My heart has found love again After the night the sun will rise After the dark the light will shine Rooney where's a tala where I call My heart has found love again has come, oh, 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 the light has come. Where 
my child Finally my heart has found love again Oh, the light has come Oh, the light has come Mirror in the ways of child Where am I child? Finally my heart has found love again From the look of things, I think my brother has been hypnotized. Yes, it's obvious that Rose used charm on my brother. You needed to see how my brother welcomed her and hugged her, embraced her. He even kissed her in my presence. Hey! Okay. Eh? Okay. Eh? This is a sign of looming trouble. It seems what we did is about to boomerang. That's, that's the problem now. Eh? That's the problem. Do you know that eh? The way my brother is behaving now. <laughs> With the potency and the efficacy of what that, that evil woman has done to my brother, eh? If she opens her mouth to talk, my brother will believe everything she says. And you know what that means for us. Okay. Eh? <laughs> then we have to look for a way. We have to look for a way. <laughs> Be it hook or crook to save ourselves from this looming trouble. Mm. Yeah. That, that is where the problem lies now. That is where the problem lies. Um, um, um. Izu? Eh? Izu? Eh? Izu? Okay. There is something I want to tell you. The something is that the something is the something. Eh? You, you know you are my second in command. Eh? You know you are you are the commander in chief of armed forces of my army. Eh? And and you know you know you, you are very smart. You used to bring out good ideas. Eh? Izu? Eh? I want you to come up with a solution 
on how we will handle this. I trust you. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Is it not you again? You can do it. Give me a solution. Okay, ma. Hmm? Okay, I'm going to say something. Come on. Eh? Okay, ma. Eh? The problem is that I'm not going to hang out. You don't know what to think? Izu? Eh? Izu? Eh? Izu? Eh? Izu? Eh? Why here? Surprised to see you. Can you go oh, no, no, no. No. Um, let's sit out. I am fine. I heard Rose's husband is back. Is she still here? Vicky, I know that is not the reason you are here. Yes. Yes, that's not the reason I'm here. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. I've realized my mistake. I was so mean and cruel to you. I was deceived, manipulated, and finally shattered. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I was not supposed to be that mean to you. Please 
find a place in your hearts to forgive me, please. You can see it. Victoria is all in the past now. I have forgiven you and forgotten everything that happened. Everything that happened was designed to direct me to a place of peace and comfort. So if that is the reason you came, worry not because it's all sorted out. Thank you so much, Jerry. I will forever be grateful knowing a good man like you. And I will forever regret losing you. There is nothing to regret. Absolutely nothing. Because both of us were not meant to be. Anyway, I was busy inside with something before you came and uh, I would like to go in now to finish up. Do have a good day. After the burial, your brother and his uncles started making sexual advances at me. I turned them down and they all stood against me, including your best friend Izuna. In a threat to make me succumb to their plan, Okina took everything, including this house. Not, not even the thought of your son here could make him change his mind. In that state of homelessness and hopelessness, Agatha, my friend, introduced me to Jerry and his wife. And I started working as a maid for them. If not that I love and trust you, I would have believed what they said. They 
hand of man is full of evil and wicked. I'm happy you're here now. Here. He will keep calling. Take the call and hear him out already. Obviously, both of you are going through similar trauma. Just keep it. You see, this is the most challenging. He's the one calling. You see, this is the most challenging period of my life. I don't even know what to do. Kill, you've got to follow your heart. The situation is not entirely your fault. But then you don't have to allow the situation to ch shatter your life totally. Come on, girl. Jerry is not yet your husband. And whatever existed between you and Bucci was shattered by the rumor of his death. Rose, as it stands now, you stand on a neutral ground. Spot that part. He keeps calling. See, just follow your heart. Spot that part where the, the light shines brighter and then follow it, baby girl. Please. Okay. Thank you. You're always welcome, sister. He will not let you rest. Look, you just have to make a stand now. This is a chance at life. Baby girl, grab it. Take it. Come. <laughs> Everything will be fine, okay?
tell me that? No, 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 God, no, God, no, 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 I'm telling you this night, before night falls, return everything that belongs to me. And as for that, your friend Izuna, tell him to stay away from me. Nah, uh, why, why, why are you even behaving like this? Want to believe a stranger, leave your own brother. What is all this? I've, 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 I've always known that, that, that Rose is an evil woman. She has bewitched you. What is all this? Nah, uh, what is all this nonsense? Nah, eh? Where do I even start from? Hey! Hey! Nah, eh? Can't call you come on. The trap I've... I... The trap I set for another person has finally caught me. Where do I even start from? Nah, eh? Nah, eh? Leave my house! Please, I'm sorry now. I, I'm sorry I have changed though. I have changed. See, eh, now that Rose has gone back to her husband, let's come back together as husband and wife what? now. Because, no. Victoria! Eh? Victoria! Eh? Get out of this compound before I push you out! Please stop shouting now, please, I beg you. Because now you're going your I have changed. I can, I can actually clean your house now. I can walk. Where's your broom? Let me help you. Can you end this drama and get out? Hey. No, no, please. Eh? Don't, don't be this. Eh? Stop shouting now, please. Just, I'm, I'm begging you. Eh? Forgive me, I have changed. I will drag you out. No, don't drag me out. Don't drag me out. Sorry. I have changed, though. I am no longer the Victoria I used to know. I have changed. I'm ready to cook. I will sweep. Where is Bro? Let me help you. Victoria, stop all this drama. Get out of this compound. Please. I will carry you out. No, don't carry me out. Respect yourself and walk out of this Respect compound. Myself. Let's come back. That's why I'm respecting myself. Let's come back together. Jerry, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, ma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, I have thought about everything and I have come to the conclusion that despite what I feel for you, I am still the wife of Onyebuchi. Well, Rose, I understand you. I understand you. I know the, the absence of Onyebuchi may have created a vacuum which I thought I could occupy. But as it is right now, I cannot change destiny and I cannot alter tradition. So as hard as it sounds, I have decided to release you for your husband. Because everyone needs a wife like Rose. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for taking proper care of my wife and my son. What my family and my loved ones could not do. Everyone needs a friend like you, Jerry. Thank you. After 
the night the sun will rise after the dark the lights will shine miri runi weza tala we wako Beautiful girl. Uh, um, um, by way of introduction, my name is uh, Okenna. Ezumo Klobi and I'm poor park. I'm a born in Dublin and I'm poor park. Um, I saw you walking in and um, I was mesmerized by what I'm seeing: the cleavages, the contours, and the heavy packages which God Almighty, in His infinite mercies, blessed you with. And I told myself, Yes, Odogu. If I be even nearly. So, I'm not a man known for many words. Let us hit straight to the point. The thing is, um, I want me and you to start having one or two. Let us start doing one or two. Hey, what I go for? Hey, what I go for? Hey, what I go Um, I want you to be my girlfriend. Is this all you do? Any lady you see passing, you stop her and start prophesying love to her. Is this all you do? Um, 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 um I, I think you should see it as a privilege, as an honor that me, the Almighty Okenna, Ezumo Kolobia, Onisindaburu Nampuapak, wants to have one or two to do with you. Um, I'm not sure you're going to go to the house. Let us not belabor this issue, you know, because I know that this thing you have, this thing you are carrying, only the can out here, man. Looking at here now, you know, for, you got to go for now. This is yeah, the, 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 the mammary glands, the mammary glands and the, 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 the contours and everywhere. Yeah, be Only the can out to man, didn't you? So, what I want you to do now is just to give me an answer in the affirmative. So that, um, we'll go somewhere, let me make payment somewhere, a brothel, a motel, you know, or even not compete. Even not compete, but I don't give you one. You make no compete. Let me make some payment somewhere because I want to get out. Yes, I can get more than one. I can get more than one. Get the MS now. You got to go for. What did you call your name again? Okay, now now. I'm going to go to the airport. I'm going. I'm going to the airport. Oh, I'm going to the airport. Airport. Okay. So you rudely stopped me to start telling me jargons from your mouth. If you had sense, you shouldn't have stopped me. But because you don't, I will allow you. I will allow you misbehave. Yes. <laughs> From all indication, you are not just a tout. A useless tout for that matter. But I will forgive you. My advice. Yes, I'm just standing. You are walking out on me. You are walking out on Okenna. Can you see me there? No, no, no. You are walking out on Ezumo, Colombia. No, I'm still standing. Because of all these heavy packages that are behind you. Eh? Nobody says no to Okenna. Ezumo, Colombia. No. Yes. They are going behind you. Stop your hands off. They are going to stop your hands off. Me okay now. Me okay now. poor park. On this end of poor park, no woman has ever messed with me and went scot free. No, it has never happened. And you, my miyanki, eh? I must find out who you are, where you are going to, and where you are coming from. And you must tell me what gave you the guts, the audacity, the impetus, and the temerity 
to work out on me. To even call me a tout. As you will call like a bot out. Eh? Nah, eh? Nah, eh? To God, I don't make your face. Tell you again. Tell you again. So it's actually because of that Onuku, that idiot, that bastard who calls himself Jerry, that poor thing that works with the local government. It's actually because of him that this beautiful one Miyanki, this beautiful one Mosi, so rained abuses, insults on me, sprinkled insolence on me, and turned me down. Me okay na, ezumo club and poor park. Hey, na. I lost Rose to Jerry. Now, this beautiful apple now that I saw, that I would have used to console myself. I'm about to lose her again to the same Jerry. I will let that girl know that nobody messes with me in this village and goes scot free. No! It does not happen. As for you, Jerry, to God, we make me and you, I don't mark your face, you already know. This beautiful one, Mianki, eh? If I don't use my calmness to get you, eh? I will get you by force. What is all this? I will get you by force. Hi. That girl is beautiful, though. That, and that girl. I know that girl will be very sweet. That girl will be very sweet. Why I told you, Lily? Hi. Why I told you, Lily? What is all this? Let me ask you. Damn this 
Help me beg. Beg the Ugo. At the castle of elders. Will you shut up your mouth? You had the guts to walk in here and beg me to talk to the king and the elders in council on your behalf. Ah, Jesus. This guy, you really have guts. You have guts. Let me warn you. If you don't leave here this minute, I will have you arrested by the police, charged to court, and I will make sure you rot in jail. Stupid thing. Get out of here! Get out of my gate, walking. What are you doing in my compound? Huh? Why are you here, this boy? Do you want to put me into trouble? Do you know the level of atrocity you committed? By trying to rape a girl? You know our culture and tradition. Igwe is even merciful on you by not handing you over to the police. Do you, don't you know what ostracize means? You have been ordered out of this community for the next 10 years. Eh? And you are here, parading as if you want you, you, you want to st st steal something from my house. Because I don't want to see you here again. Whatever belongings you have, pick them and go out of this community till next ten years. Because I told me so. This one you are looking around as if you want to you, you want to steal my fowl or my goat, eh? Unyush. Don't ever come back here. 
So finally, I have been ostracized from this community owing to my inability to control my sexual recklessness. Probably, this might be one of the ways God has decided to caution and punish me for all my evil deeds, especially my wickedness towards my brother Onyebuchi and his innocent wife, Rose. Oh, yeah, come on, baby. I'm broken into peace. 